This is the second Fallison vlog. Is there another girl that you think is more Fallison than me? There is a storm of ruin. Oh, we finna watch a movie tonight. Let's go. And cuddle. <gasps> Whoa! Guys, crazy. this is scary. Oh no, this is Paprika. Yeah. Oh my God, she just tried to kiss me. Did you no, see that? I can't do it. You got this. I don't know what to say. You got this. Three, two, one. Wait, I'm not ready yet. Ew, what is that? Oh, we man. have to do it together if we're gonna do that. Three, two, one. Anyway, guys. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It is Allie and Austin in your favorite place that we film. Austin and Allie? The car. Yeah, Austin it is, it and Allie. Austin and Allie. Okay. Wait, what the f Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm telling you. I'm gonna kill you. Do you put it on my car? I don't think so. I think I flung it over there. The aftermath hit the fence. Anyways, guys, this is the second Fallison vlog, and we are gonna be having some fun today. Erase Austin from this vlog, guys. Don't I don't do know why I asked you to come with me. They love me. Asked you to they come love with me. me. So, Austin, do you want to tell them what we're doing? We are going out for fall ascent season, right? And we're going to find yeah. tons of fall things yeah. to do and just yeah. experience the fall vibes. Yeah. Because y'all know we right. are obsessed with fall, Christmas, any kind of holiday. We take any excuse to not do anything. Fall is so beautiful here in this lovely state of Florida. It's almost like nothing changed. It, it really is. Yeah. Unless you physically go buy fake leaves and put it in your house, Nothing else changes. Which we have. We do. We have many. All I know is we're not going anywhere unless Austin actually starts to move this car because. Oh, true. All right, we're gone. I, there's Island Boy. Wait, he's looking at you like you're in trouble. We just now started Allie's vlog. You guys just going like that? Come say hi. You want to come? Every time I come home, you're taking Allie away from me. <laughs> tell him. Tell him. We're following my vlog. This was her idea. But every time she leaves, you're with her, and I'm not. She's taking me. I wasn't going. She's you want to come? That. You can come along. That's my little girl, though. Do you want to come? <sighs> I'll let you drive. I will See, sit in the back. I'm the afterthought. Oh my god! Come on, let's go. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Before this video starts, make sure you guys click the like and subscribe button and comment below if you guys are new or some video ideas that you want to see this fall and season. I'm telling you guys, you do not want to miss out on all of the fun that is coming your way. All of the do. random content yeah. that we are all going the to be giving to you. We're going to be giving to you guys. Just come join our journey together. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah! Well, Carol's pumping my gas. I've paused this video to tell you guys about literally my favorite app of all time, Upside. This app is for every single one of y'all that shops for groceries, puts gas in your car, or goes out to eat, and likes to save a lot of money every year. And with the money she's saving, she's gonna use to buy me a coffee later. No, I'm not. Oh. Oh, Upside is so easy to use and gives you the ability to earn cash back on everyday purchases. And here's how. You download the free Upside app, put in your information and location. It gives you so many different options on restaurants, places to get groceries, gas stations in your area that you can earn cash back on. You claim the offer, you check in, and boom, you buy your cash back. It sounds too good to be true, but I promise you it's not. Y'all are my fam, so you know I had to get you some extra money. If you go download the free Upside app right now and use code AllieS, you will earn up to five dollars cash back on your first purchase of ten dollars or more y'all are gonna love me for this looks like carol's done that's what i'm talking about we are on our way to Publix right now. Austin, stop right now. <laughs> we are going to be buying food, as always. This is gonna be um, an adventure for us, guys, because we're not going to Starbucks like normal. We are actually going to make our own pumpkin spice latte. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That sounds I even, you're so annoying. Why? How do I know you're gonna live up to my expectation of a pumpkin spice okay, latte Okay, because this, this is what I saw, okay? Yes, I was I inspired to, to make this it. on TikTok. Got tasted to believe No, I'm gonna show you what got we're making right now. I only have a limited amount of pumpkin tolerance you know what i mean because it's like my favorite thing ever but i don't want to spoil it so if this is not you like the greatest thing i've ever it tasted your favorite thing ever you can he's spoil. a fraud he's a pumpkin oh pumpkin my fraud. gosh you you're a freaking gosh. pumpkin pro a pumpkin prod yeah don't even know what that is but i think and we're gonna get banana bread no 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 and we're gonna get pumpkin bread you literally told me to buy banana bread for you why are we getting pumpkin bread i am gonna make banana bread but pumpkin bread and pumpkin bread we have no we have to no okay we're gonna do fall in season banana bread. How are we gonna make that fall? We'll put some orange dye in it. Okay, this is what we're gonna be making right now. Are y'all ready for this? Okay. Look at this. Look at how good this looks, bro. Look, she is about to make some cold foam. Look, she puts something really good, and then she puts other really good stuff, like condensed milk, pumpkin puree. Oh my gosh, bro. This looks amazing. That looks There's good. no way. Look at how thick that is. 
Mmm, that'd be thickums. That's thick. I just spit everywhere. Look at this. Wow. Ready? Boom. Oh my god. And we even have that not cup. Not my guys. That, that looks good. We don't have that aesthetic beaker, but like, we're not very aesthetic like that. We so. could probably find one. Let's try. All right, guys, we are going to see you when we are at Publix. Publix. Ooh. Also, I tried Dunkin' and their pumpkin spice sucks. Don't so, go. Don't go. You know how to tell you no. that I like certain things Guys, anymore. we're in the middle of a fight, and so we need you guys to tell us who's right. I don't even know. This is what happened, okay? I put my arm over like this, because Austin said his back's been hurting. So I was, like, rubbing his back where it was oh. hurting. As soon as I did it, Austin looks over and says to me, can you please scratch my back? To where, all of a sudden, I feel obligated. It's not even like I can do it out of the kindness of my heart. It's like, you told me to do it, so I feel like I'm doing because you told me to do it. It's no. not out of my heart. Bro, no, this is how it works. Like, if I know you want something, and you tell me, I can still do it out of the kindness of my heart, because I know you want it. No, because then it's like I'm not just doing it because I'm nice. I'm like doing because you told me. For example, for have you ever been like going to do the dishes in the kitchen? Uh-huh. And then as soon as you go to do them, your parents are like, Allie, do the dishes. And you're like, you know, I was going to do them out of the kindness of my heart. That is now, not the same at all. I feel obligated. That is not the same at all. That would be like, okay, you went to do the dishes, right? And then your mom came in and she was like, Allie, I'm really tired. Do you mind doing the dishes? And then she- And you're already doing it's like, yes, I'm already doing them. Ah. But she didn't know you were going to say that. So that then you would just be like, oh, wait. Yeah, I was already doing them. But yeah, now that I know that it would make you feel better and you enjoyed it, of course I'll do it. But then I can't say anything that I like because as soon as I ask her to, she this won't do it. Question. This is the real question. What is your real question? Is there another girl that you think is more false than me? Oh my gosh. I was trying to hide it that whole time. But this, I, I think there is. I'm sick. I didn't want to say it. And I was, I was masking those feelings through all of my frustration. There is another false. Look at all the beautiful fall leaves. Freaking bats. I love fall leaves. <laughs> then no. When the picture man say, you're you need no filter. No filter. You gonna buy me flowers? Um, what kinds? Fall flowers. Fall flowers. For my room. Awesome. I just realized I wore my slippers to the mall, to the store. These show my toes, Gab. I subbed it and it's really ugly. <laughs> I'm so mad. But I'm getting them dirty. I just got them today off Amazon. All right, Allie, what's first up on the list? We need pumpkin puree. Pumpkin, pumpkin puree. puree. What you doing? Puree. You doing your workouts? Puree. puree. You guys have pumpkin puree? Yep. Oh, Allie. Aisle eight. We are on four. Isn't that the guy you talked to for the tampon prank? No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That's him. Oh my gosh, you're right. It was him. You knew it. Guys, I'm gonna link the recipe so you guys can try this if it's busting. Are you ready for this? Yes. You have to give Fallison credit though. I do not care if it was not me that came up with it. We need condensed milk. Condensed milk. Where's condensed milk? Yum. Yum. Oh my gosh, I can't find it. <laughs> you know how like when the whales at SeaWorld do a good job, the trainers go like, I'm just gonna get this one because this one has pie on it. From now on, when I do a good job with something, I want you to pat me on my belly like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't think they sell it here. Brown sugar syrup. That's what I thought. I'll put it in the microwave. Thank you. You're the best. You mean this whole time, all I needed to do to get a butt was keep adding brown sugar? Why? Because she said, keep adding brown sugar till it gets thick. <laughs> Maybe I should try that. <laughs> okay, we need the condensed milk. This stuff is heavenly. Oh my God. Oh, this is so good. Okay, we need some heavy whipping cream. Show me. Heavy whippings? Guys, we're definitely gonna need to try these. Ooh. She didn't know I could do that. There is a storm of ruin. Oh, we've been a watch a movie tonight. Let's go. And cuddle. Whoa. Let's go. We got all the ingredients. Lancy, all we're home. All Whoa. Oh, see that? The lights. Lancy, we're home. I'll make it. <laughs> Whoa. That's Guys, spooky. this is scary, but this is perfect for our pumpkin spice latte. Halloween edition. Okay, awesome. Show what we got. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we have some mate. Full pecan. Um, coffee right here. Eagle brand condensed milk. Okay, we got that. Okay, you're gonna have to go Amazing. fast. Amazing. And then next up, we have some pumpkin all natural puree. Oh, pumpkin puree. So I'm talking about. Yeah, that, that heavy that whip. Heavy whipping cream. And then we've got the um, iced coffee medium roast because they didn't have the sweet. You know what I mean? And that's all you need. No, it's not. The most important thing, we have the uh, pumpkin spice. Yeah, this pie does. spice. Um, and that is all you need to make the bussin' bussin'. Awesome. We cannot make this without putting on a fall movie and making sure all the lights are on. Stop Come on. right now. I was thinking the same thing. Let's go. Come on. Go, 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 go. I think this candle's out, guys. We are running out of fall. This candle Follison. is out. What are we Follison, we are running out of time. 
Go, 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 go. Put her in there. Don't lock. Okay, here we go. Turn it on, turn it on. If you do this without creating the atmosphere, what was even the point of doing it? There's really just no point. Go. How the heck does this work? Turn Gotta turn these on. Lights. Because everything Activate. matters. Come go. on. We don't half butt nothing, man. No. Be a whole vibe this. This doesn't feel half butted at all. Oh, this is all full butted. Here we go. Okay. Nothing but the full butt around here, guys. No, nothing but the full butt. Okay. This pumpkin. There we go. The pumpkin is now lit as a lit pumpkin. This is very necessary for those of you guys that think this is extra. Extremely necessary. This is the part that's really annoying because mm. you have to put on all these lights like mm -hmm. this. I broke a freaking nail. Go. Freaking bats. I love I'm really getting short of breath. Oh. Oh, this pumpkin is already on. Save okay. us three seconds. Let's Good. go. Wait, is this involving food? Yes. Yes. You coming? I'm, no, I'm down for to participate. No, we're making our own pumpkin spice latte, but we got like really intense stuff. Like what's intense? Like heavy whipping cream and pumpkin puree. Oh dang. Pull Come something, follow us in and let's go. This is where we are. We are there. Subscribe. Yeah, you heard him. Oh, oh wow. I don't know the heart to tell her that the, the camera lens is way too far away to see what was on the TV, but we'll go with it. What is one of you said? Huh? Go show them! Oh, guys, this is where we are at. Guys, you know what we shall make today? Pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin bread. Oh my god. Allison, we are making Just kidding. we're making banana bread. Banana bread. What do you think about that? First things first, put ice in the cups. Here right, we go. We go on with this. Here we go. One, two, three. Cut. Make sure make sure they don't break. You're so aesthetic. I can't even take I it. I am, I am. Make sure they don't break. Yep. Boom. Run Boom. It. Okay, we're going we're going past the don't break theory, you know what I mean? How do you pick such great ice cubes? It's just it's a skill. It's honestly something my parents taught me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Such a good job, Austin. Thank you. Okay, Thank you next thing. Okay, okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put too much because you actually want to leave room for the Wow. This is Austin's. Oh nay. Now that we have these. Wait! This is all wrong. Come on now. What is wrong with this picture? I really like some fall. We need some fall stuff. It doesn't feel like the fall vibes yeah, right now. This is not the vibe. I thought something was missing. We gotta like, you know how they do? Uh-huh. Like this. Come mm, on, Austin. Your really aesthetic look. Yeah, look. Like this. Uh-huh. Look, that looks so much better. Yep. Come on. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Oh my gosh, guys, so these are ingredients. Okay, those are our ingredients. You know what I mean? Now, here we shall go. We need half a cup. This is it. Oh, this is the good, oh, good. Oh, that looks, yeah. that has a lot more, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, Whoa. I love everything about this. This is nice. Oh my gosh, is this, this is gonna really be the nice. best thing ever? This is gonna be amazing. Yes, okay, next. Two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. I wanted to do this, guys, but Austin's hogging it. All right, so we need to switch the rolls. Oh my wow. gosh. Guys, I'm obsessed with pumpkin. Wow. Mm, two. Mm, mm. Two of these? All yeah. right, here we go, ready? He's a shepherd. Uno, look at that. I'm gonna do a little bit more, because mm. I'm average in these. One. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Perfection. All right, you're up. Condensed milk. Mm, the fun part. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Two. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah! Whoa! Oh yeah! This Whoa. is it! Whoa! Wow, that was amazing. Okay, we'll mm. go, like, a little, little, little more, little salt, salt. <sighs> One teaspoon of brown sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. A sprinkle of pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that. Do we have brown sugar? Okay, we can try to make a little bit of it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Here we go. This is important, guys. Right here. Mm. here go. Oh no, this is paprika! <gasps> I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay, ready? Here we go. We're just gonna put a little bit of brown sugar. Oh no. Mm, that looks interesting. Okay, we're gonna get that, you feel me? And then, just gonna add some water to this. I'm gonna make that brown sugar syrup, you feel me? 20 bucks, just put it in the microwave. Oh, yep, there it is. Without missing a beat. You know, I feel like that needs vanilla, but we're just not gonna put it because she didn't put it. I think that this is brown sugar syrup, don't you? It says one teaspoon. First that looks like a teaspoon. Sure. Yeah, okay. Nice. This go is it. Get it. This is the moment. Go get it. You're not ready. I'm so ready. Go for it. Ready? Oh, wow. Oh, this is some thick cream. Well, you can't touch it on the ground. It's not. It's getting wrapped up in the pumpkin. Mmm, very nice. This will be like the pure. Whoa. I just want to say, though, this thing is the best thing I've ever gotten in my life. I linked it on my Amazon storefront for you guys, too. I use this every single day. This is so good. You know what it is? It's the condensed milk in the bottom. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, we decided to switch it to a measuring cup. And this is so thick. It looks that is so good. Amazing. Okay, we're going to try. It. Right. Are you ready? This do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Pour? No, you got it. Okay. Go for it. Oh my gosh. Bro, that looks good. Dude, that looks unreal. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Keep going, keep going. Oh, that one was nice. Yum. Did I put a little whip on top or no? Always yes to the whip. Okay, okay. Bro, we have no chill. And the last final touches. Here we go. Bonita. Austin, these look so good. Oh my goodness. These look so good. Wow. I have to try it. That was amazing. 
Okay, okay. we gotta we gotta try this at the same time. Lance, you coming? We made you one. Pumpkin spice latte. As long as it's fat free, because everything I eat is fat free. Yes, a hundred percent. Hundred percent fat free. You have to stir it. All right, guys. Are you ready for this, Dad? Let's go. Oh I feel like my we need gosh. pumpkin music. You need to stir it. Do we have any pumpkin music? Emily, Evelyn? play pumpkin music. I don't know what this is gonna taste like because I've never made anything with all natural ingredients. I don't know what you put in here, but all I know is I have no this could be really expectation. Wait. This could be really gross. Cheers. Cheers. Two false in. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's horrible. That is so You nasty. know what? I can tell you what this is. From when you first goes into your mouth, it promises a lot and it delivers absolutely nothing. No, this is a hack. If you ever have a problem where you put that straw in there and it tastes like trash, here's what you do. Slide the straw up to the top, go straight into the whipped cream. <laughs> not as good. Guys, that was horrible. Definitely don't recommend. That was not my idea. You can give all credit to the girl on TikTok. Bro. But we're gonna make banana bread, so at least we're not left with nothing. I told you we should have gone to Starbucks. That was so nasty, bro. Not the bad, okay? <laughs> On to our banana bread. Okay, guys, here we go. All right, no, no, no. no. We've got our banana bread. <laughs> I'm gonna take over on this one. I'm gonna no, watch. that was just a bad recipe. That wasn't even me. I'm gonna help us out. I'm gonna save the day with this one. I'm hey, wifey, bro. I'm wifey. We are about to make banana bread of the finest kind. Are you guys Dude, ready? Those are perfect bananas for banana bread, too. Look, at, look at how nasty those look. I know. I left them in my windowsill to tan. That is gross. <laughs> just enough, and they are just ready. Let's get it. So first off, we will need one cup of mashed banana. Got them nanners. Nanner them overripe nanners. Over they say overripe. Oh, well, you left a whole bunch of stuff on that one. And one job. <laughs> one job, Allison. Next up, we need one a large egg. Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we need to preheat pre the oven for 350. You got this, Oz. This is all you. All me. Let's see. We're doing the upper. We're going to bake. We're going to do 350 and then start. You made me put together what we need, not the actual recipe. All we need to do is grease the pan now. That's, that's what's up next. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It says preheat the oven, grease the pan. Okay, you're going to grease the pan. You got to get a stick of butter. Pan. All right. No, we I got to lightly beat this egg. Beat that egg. Beat that egg. Beat that egg. Beat that egg. We have got the banana beat. Wow. Bananas Amazing. are being beaten. Amazing. Here we go. Pour it in. Pour it in. Hey, oh, yo. That smells so good. Let's go. That smells amazing. Bro, this is so much harder to grease a pan this yeah, way. Yeah, but it tastes better. Why are we? You don't even taste it like that. Yes, you do. No, you don't. 100 you do. It ain't that way. You don't know what you're talking about. I know everything about what I'm talking I'm about. I'm fluffy, I know. Okay, Miss yeah, Pumpkin hey. Spice Latte. That wasn't my recipe. <laughs> I still will show you guys my recipe. <laughs> latte I've never had in my life. <laughs> All right, we are almost done. Wait, got the stir in. Should you put a little bit of pumpkin spice in there? No, that's not what the direction said to do. It doesn't call for it, but Allie. I'm determined to have some pumpkin. Bro. I'm putting it. Allie, oh my gosh. Banana bread. All right, guys, if this tastes terrible, it's because of that. You wouldn't let me get, you would not let me get pumpkin bread. So I gotta work with what I have. Shut oh up. Oh my gosh, okay. This is the very last step. We are in pouring stage, ladies and gentlemen. You wanna pour off spoons, look? We're rocking with the wooden spoon. Ready? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Bless. Oh my gosh. What are the odds I pour this whole ish on the floor because it's too heavy? This is a pretty good chance. All right, is it too heavy? Get in there. Okay. What are the odds I drop the whole bowl on top of this thing? Very high. I know, it's slippery. I'll get this is gonna be so yummy. That's it. Now we gotta stick it in the Oh, time to put it in. It's time, people. Me and Austin are waiting for our banana bread to be done because it takes 50 minutes. And so we decided we will do our devotional with you guys today. Yeah, I didn't know it was gonna take that long, so now we are killing some time. So you guys know, if you guys like follow my family, that <coughs> literally our favoritest person in our house, Dippity Dash, died last week. And it has been so sad and just so hard, um, especially with like my grandpa and like, and all stuff that's been going on with my health. It just feels like it's one thing after another. And one of my good friends, Kay Stout, sent me this book by Christine King. You guys can get it too and do it with me, but it's called Resilient Hope. And man, I don't know about y'all, but I need some resilient hope right now in this season. And I know that God's faithful. And so we are just going to be starting this off. It's my first day doing it. We're making Austin do it with us. It's my first day doing it too, guys. So here we go. Part one, faith, trust, and strength. When you go to the mountains, you see them and you admire them. In a sense, they give you a challenge and you try to express that challenge by climbing them. That is our quote. So chapter one, when Jesus was not far from the house, the sin 
centurion sent his friends saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself for I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. I'm not worthy to have you come to my house, but say the word and let the servant be healed. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turning to the crowd that followed him said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When Jesus encountered the centurion, he marveled at his faith. Marveled in the Greek is thumazo. I probably botched that so bad. And it means to be astonished, to be amazed. What on this earth could ever cause Jesus to be astonished or amazed? He hung the stars and the moon. He's literally seen all and knows everything. But for some reason, he marveled at the faith of a man who believed his servant could be healed. Not even in Israel have I found such faith, Jesus said. I want to have faith like that centurion, the kind that causes Jesus to marvel and say, I haven't seen this kind of faith. I want to have such faith that I always believe God can do what he said that he will do, no matter how impossible it may seem, naturally speaking. I feel that. I want to have faith that there is no heart God cannot mend, no past he cannot redeem, no sickness that he cannot heal, no relationship that he cannot restore, no person he cannot save, no sin he cannot forgive, no need he cannot meet, no prayer so big that he cannot answer it. And yet to have this kind of faith is risky because it means trusting God and in his word. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's easy to like say you want that, but you know when like it actually comes to that time, it's like, okay, like a little bit harder. I'm so heartbroken. Like even when it comes to like dash, you know what I mean? Yeah. It means believing that God is good and that God does good and that God is working all things together for my good and for your good, even when things don't look good. It means trusting that Jesus is who he says he is and that he will do what he said he would do, even when it takes much longer than I would like or happens in a way I never imagined. It means pursuing Jesus when the world around me is constantly reminding me that my faith doesn't make sense. That is foolish to believe in Jesus. Trusting Jesus hasn't come easy for me. Still, I am willing to risk it. What about you? Are you willing to risk believing more deeply than you ever have? No matter what hasn't gone according to your plan in your life, the truth stands. God created you on purpose for a purpose. He positioned you in time and gave you gifts and talents for the purpose of serving your generation. For having faith that endures despite setbacks and challenges. A faith that causes him to marvel. And then it just has a prayer. Heavenly Father, I commit this day to risk growing deeper in my faith ever than before. I want to fulfill all that you've called me to do full of marvelous faith. In Jesus' name, amen. That's really good. Do you feel like you have marvelous faith? I feel like it's not where it needs to be. I feel like I want to have marvelous faith. It's something that I aspire to, but I, I think it's kind of scary because it takes you literally like letting go of the parts of your life that you have control of. Because it, it's hard to like ask God for things and just wait and be patient because you want to grab onto something. I feel like personally right now, it's something that I'm aspiring to get. That is like the root of all success almost. Like yeah. acquiring that kind of faith in God, that is amazing. What's crazy is like, I feel like a lot of times in my life, you mistake like aspiring for just thinking one day it'll come when aspiring is actually like every single day creating it's like seeking opportunities out. in your life that like challenge you to actually get that faith yeah and like this says like when god is calling us into deeper faith it's uncomfortable it's a risk everyone is going to like look at you like you're crazy like okay ali it looks like everything has gone wrong in your life recently even like your dog passing away like how are you continuing to trust in god and that he is good and that he has a plan for you but in reality like i will continue to trust i like know god is good i think that honestly this season that god's been allowing me to go through even if it wasn't him doing it to me you know what i mean mm -hmm. i believe that he's using it to create marvelous faith in me because it's in the hard times and us sticking with what he said and like enduring through those hard times that molding actually comes and that marvelous faith is actually shown if that makes sense that's everyone can believe in him when like things are perfect and it's easy so yeah i guess like my prayer would just be that i continue to hold strong and like not lose faith or like not allow the enemy to create doubt in my mind even when he does that like, i shut it off and you don't lose faith throughout the amount of pressure that you receive through your life and through the days because that pressure turns into growth and strength. And you keep going, like keep pursuing the things God's told you to do even when it looks like everything else has gone to heck. Like we're having another chosen and free night in December that I was just talking about Tiffany today. We're having a Jaywalkers meeting hmm. literally next month in October. And so even when it looks like everything's going to crap in your life, like God is fighting on your behalf even when you cannot see it, even when I cannot see it. In the middle of your heartbreak, he said he is close to the brokenhearted and heals their wounds. God is with you. He is for you. Nothing can stop the plans he has for you. If you continue to just choose to have marvelous faith, risk getting close to him, reading your Bible, continuing to dig deep, even in times when you just like, it's easier to isolate. People say you're crazy. Like, I don't know, but I think our banana bread is done. It probably is. Let's go, check let's on go. It. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, the big reveal. Go. The gingerbread man hands. Yeah. Get ready. I might have dented it, so just go. <laughs> We're not the most aesthetic YouTubers. Okay, go. This is great. Ooh. Ooh. That was amazing. Here we go. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, let's see what's up. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Mmm. Guys, this is it. Oh yeah. Oh, that is amazing. This is butt. Oh yeah. I yes. gave you the best piece. Oh, that is perfect. You have perfection. to wait for me to take a bite. Oh my gosh, I think we saved fall. I know. After those dang pumpkin spice lattes, this is a lifesaver. My oh, goodness. So yummy, guys. Okay, ready? Your mom. Get yours. What are you doing? Whoa, dude, man. Why are you trying to do better without me? Oh my gosh, Miss Gil. She just tried to kiss me. Did you no, see I that? Didn't. Yes, you no, did. I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Roll back the day. That I was did not. way you too close. That was way too close. You oh know my. it was a lie. You know it was a lie. Allie just tried to kiss me. I did it, Austin. Oh my god. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I literally took did. a bite. You took a bite without me. That's the unspoken. Rule. No, I didn't. Really went to take no, I didn't. I was practicing, and you just came in hot. Nobody practiced. You just, you just <laughs> came in. <laughs> Nobody practiced. I was practicing. No, you weren't. You're were eating yes, the freaking you bread. See how close we were, bro. I can't believe that, Miss Kim. Did you see that? I didn't see it. It's not true. You I need did to not. Chill. I did not try to kiss you. You need to chill. Yes, you did. I can't believe you. Well, guys, that is it for today's vlog. I did not try to kiss Austin, even though he swears that I did. We've had enough of you today. Hope you guys laughed today. Today's video brought you joy. I know it brought us a lot of laughs. Before this video ends, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I believe God's brought you here for a reason. I don't think that there's any accidents or coincidences. So make sure you guys stay connected to this amazing family on here. We are on the road to a million subscribers, which is crazy because, I mean, you guys are literally like my family members. So thank you guys for being invested in my life. Thank you guys for doing life with me. You guys are amazing. You're chosen by God. There are amazing plans for your life and the best is yet to come. See y'all next week.